every new house should certainly have a beautiful galvanized bar. For ridiculous. Mm. Russell and wife Natalie have relocated to Smyrna, Tennessee for his job and are looking for a home large enough for Russell's collectibles and to entertain him. With a budget of up to $350,000, they've already seen a single-story brick home and a two-story Cape Cod place. Both were under budget and had great kitchens, but didn't have the large yard and privacy they were looking for. So today, their broker has found another option for them to see that's on a much bigger lot. Well, it's not quite the Mediterranean. It's not really the Cape Cod, but it's good work. Neighbors aren't too close. Yeah, it does have a lot of land. You're right. And the porch is huge. It's actually really pretty. Yeah, it's nice. Hey. Hi there. Hi there. Good. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. See you. Come on in. Thanks. So what did y'all think of the exterior? Nice big open yard. I do like that. Yeah, but the house itself is not really either of the styles that we were interested in. It, it's not. It's a one and a half story ranch, but... Let's look at it and see. It's got some great features. This is $270,000 price oh. to sell. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. It's just over 2,000 square feet. Is that going to be big enough for you? That's not really what I was looking for. But yeah. It may feel a lot bigger. If you notice, these ceilings yeah. are really tall. It's open. Okay. Now let's start over here if you want to see. This is our, the dining area. Oh, yay, dining area, dining yeah. area. I could care less. So I noticed these archways are kind of Mediterranean style, and yes. I like that. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay. Oh, great. As Ooh. you can see, uh, it is smaller than what you were looking for. Oh However, gosh. it's very functional. It's There's not room in here to change your mind. No, that's true. <laughs> but if you also notice, this kitchen has been done up nice. It's been customized. This backsplash is actually really pretty. I feel like it would feel bigger if you could get rid of one of these walls and put in a counter. Then you could have bar stools and it would feel larger. If we check with a builder or contractor, you could possibly take this out and it would, okay. wouldn't be much. There's a living room off the kitchen. Got a nice... Uh, entertainment area over Ooh, here. Oh, this accent wall is really pretty. It's pretty, but it's kind of like we wanted a fireplace, but we didn't really put one in. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, this doesn't have the fireplace, but, you know, you could always put one in if you wanted to. Okay. These doors just open right up. Uh, oh, now that's perfect. And you have some great access here to your exterior yeah, patio. Yeah, that's nice. And look what we have here. The pool's that's nice. Great. As you can tell, it's winterized right now, but uh, imagine this as your Mediterranean oasis. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can do that. Also, it gives you a sense of privacy. There's nobody really behind you here or even on the sides. This house has over an acre property, and in this price range and in this area, it is difficult to find one okay. that's not in a subdivision with another house right on top of it. Well, let's let's go look at the bedrooms. They're all over here in this side of the house. You can, okay. We'll start with the master bedroom suite. It's a good size bathroom. Mm. Got your nice cabinets, dual vanities, pocket doors here, and also on your closet. That's really cool. Let's take a peek. See Ooh. what you think on there. Yeah, where's the rest of it? That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> is this the only closet in the master? This is the only master closet, yes. Okay. But remember, guys, the price point we're at and what you're getting. It's a walk-in, but only when it's empty. That's true. <laughs> well, let's let's at least let's look at the master bedroom. It's a good size master with coffered ceilings. It's it's a little smaller than what yeah. we have had it or generally is. like, but I mean it's not it's not terrible. Down the hall they see a full bath and two guest bedrooms. Let's go check out the bonus room. Bonus room, that's what's important. All right. Uh, and I like the idea that it's away from the master on the other side of the house. Me too. Ooh, this is not a bonus room. This is an attic. It's not bad, but it's definitely much smaller than what I envisioned for I'm glad you're not much room. taller than what you are. For anybody, for that matter. <laughs> I like the land. You've got your privacy. You do have the pool. Yeah. The backyard, the backyard is, backyard nice, is nice, but we're missing a lot of space. Bonus room, master bedroom, that master closet. closet. Yeah, and all those things we wanted, like the fireplace and the counter with the, and the big kitchen, we don't have any of that here. I think that we'll use the outdoor space more, and if we decide we want to expand and go beyond that, we have the land. And so we have the money to expand and make the house exactly what we want. Which I like a lot. All right. Let's go tell her. Let's tell him. Ooh, it's pretty. We have owned our home for about a month now, and we absolutely love it. Yeah, it'll look good here. 
See, that is better than a fireplace. I'm kidding. It's not better than a fireplace. <laughs> the original asking price was two seventy. But they got a little better price at two hundred and sixty-eight thousand dollars. We definitely compromised space in the house. Uh, storage space, living space, bonus room space. A lot of space was compromised. But again, we can build on and do that stuff with all this land we have. Yeah, we have the acreage and the, and the cash now because of the asking price being so low. Got this great backyard. I think we need to have another critter to run around and love on. He's not said a one word about wanting a bird or a sister. Well, that's because he doesn't talk. I think this is actually a great space for entertaining. It's very open, and there are outdoor spaces for people to go and walk around and sit. So this is a really good house for yeah. having parties. Guys, there's plenty of food in the kitchen. Uh, there's drinks in the fridge. So you notice he didn't himself. say plenty of drinks. So drink all those up before he gets to them. <laughs> <laughs> I think we knew that we would come back to Tennessee because we've lived here the longest. We've really enjoyed it. Uh, the South is beautiful. Uh, people are super friendly, and it's really nice to be back.